not oh with your blood you but my freedom hallelujah for the cross oh hallelujah thank you jesus hello hello good afternoon good afternoon hello welcome hey welcome 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 god bless you as you're joining just tell me where you're joining from what country and your name hi anna and an anka i'm not sure if i'm saying that right and i see someone else is here i don't know how to read i don't know if that's hebrew or uh i don't know what language that is but hello welcome 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 god bless you god bless you god bless you i hope you all are having a wonderful wonderful um excellent week uh christmas is just around the corner uh celebrating the birth of our lord jesus hello james hello francis hello hello god bless you welcome welcome guys it's so good to see everyone i hope everyone has been doing good so far as the holidays and we just want to bless god hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus i was a prisoner now i'm not hello hi princess from nigeria hey hey nigeria in the house <laughs> god bless you hey nice to see you welcome welcome i was a priest hi gina now i'm not yay with your blood you but our freedom hallelujah for the cross yes 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 and today we're continuing all our ministration our prayer session on um basically the prayer session on the apostolic international revival conference and we're praying into 2022 glory be to god hallelujah god is so awesome he's such a wonderful god i mean i don't know who else feels so blessed i feel blessed the fact that we are here today and we're alive and well it's it's such a blessing you know so many people went to bed and they didn't wake up uh so many people went on the road to work and something some way somehow happened on their way but we are here like isn't isn't god just so amazing it's it's so amazing that we're here we're here to testify of god's goodness we're here to testify of God's grace, of God's mercy, of the love of God over our lives. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Come on, somebody. Just wherever you are, just begin to worship the Lord. Begin to bless the Lord. Begin to just give him all the praise, all the honor, all the adorations because he deserves it all. He deserves all our worship. Here's my worship. Remember that song, guys? Take joy in it. Make it your dwelling place. I want to put a smile on your face. I present my heart to you. I present my life to you. Is that our prayer today? Here's our worship, God. Take joy in it. Make it your dwelling place. We want to put a smile on your face. I present my heart to you. I present my life to you. Oh, here's my worship. Take joy in it. Make it your dwelling place. I want to put a smile on your face. I present my life to you. I present my heart to you. 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And as we begin, let's just begin to thank the Lord. Just say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you this day. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your faithfulness, oh God. We bless you. Someone, come on, somebody, just thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we give you all the glory. Abba, Father, Shekinah glory, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. There is none like you. Oh, Baba, we thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your goodness. Hallelujah. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Oh, King of glory, we give you all the praise. We give you honor and adorations. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for joining in. God bless you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise, God. You are holy. You are righteous. Hallelujah. Lord, we commit today into your hands, oh God, as we begin. Lord, we ask, oh God, that you take over. Take over this ministration. Take over our prayers tonight. We ask, oh God, that you be in charge. The Lord, that any word that will come out from our mouth, oh God, let it be orchestrated by you in the name of Jesus. Take over, Heavenly Father. Be in control tonight in the name of Jesus. Blessings, Bisha. Blessings. God bless you. Thanks for joining in. Hallelujah. Today, we're going to be reading from the book of um, Micah. Micah. 3 Micah 3 For I am yours and you are mine Micah 3 from verse 1 I'm going to read it said and I said here I pray you O heads of Jacob and ye princes of the house of Israel is it not for you to know judgment who hate the good and love the evil who pluck of their skin from of them and their flesh from of their bones who also eat the flesh of my people and flay their skin from of them and they break their bones and chop them in pieces as for the pot and as flesh within the cauldron um, then shall they cry unto the Lord but he will not hear them he will even hide his face from them at that time as they have behaved themselves ill in their doings uh, thus says the lord god concerning the prophets that make my people err that bites with their teeth and cry peace and he had put it not into their mouths they even prepare war against him hallelujah um verse six therefore night shall be unto you that ye shall not have a vision and it shall be dark unto you that ye shall not divine and the sun shall go down over the prophets and the day shall be dark over them then shall the seers be ashamed and the diviners confounded yea they shall be they shall all cover their lips for there is no answer from god glory be to god we're gonna stop there we're gonna stop there so we've been reading nehemiah we spoke about for the past three days since on monday about who nehemiah was uh, a servant of god a watcher of the temple a keeper of the gate who was bold and courageous um blunt upfront about the errors that was happening uh, when the priests and all of them were not doing what they were supposed to do now in regards to that hello god bless you thanks for joining in uh we're reading now today micah 3 which is almost a continuation of the same a call for repentance to the body of christ god is calling everyone including myself god is calling all of us to come to repentance as we cross over into 2022 while we're praying for blessings while we're praying oh god bless me 2022 this shall come to pass that shall come to pass we also have to remember is our heart right with god our are we standing by right with God are we doing the right things with God are we like holy and and presentable unto God hallelujah now Micah 3 from verse 1 to 8 um, you can see the Lord is asking the house of Jacob and Israel a very important question saying is it not for you to know judgment as my people you should know the rules right we spoke about this right um, in other words, as my children, you should know what is right from wrong. Uh, you should know judgment. And God is reminding them of the evil that is being done. How they eat flesh. They break their bones and chop them in pieces 
as for the pots, right? And flesh within the cauldron. So this is about the people. They, they, at the end of the day, they're saying, "Oh, our God, our God," but yet they're doing all these things. They're divining. They're, they're, they're eating flesh and drinking blood. That they're not supposed to doing things that are against God. Hallelujah. This indicates the practice of witchcraft and sorcery, divination, incantation, sorcery. Right? Those are all working. Um, not those are all not the things that are of God. They are not in alignment with God. Glory be to God. Any personality, we're going to pray right now as we're starting this. You're going to pray. Say, my father, my father, any personality eating flesh and drinking blood of your people in this season. This is December. December is a season where a lot of people die. People just die for no reason. Things happen to people when they're expecting to cross over. They're not able to cross over for one reason or the other. So we're going to pray any blood sucking demon flesh eating personality on assignment against your people oh god in this season oh god let your judgment of fire begin to locate them let it begin to locate them let it begin to locate them wherever they may be oh father let it begin to locate them in the mighty name of jesus whosoever any personality principalities or powers blood sucking spirits personality flesh eating spirits personality that is on assignment against god's people in this season that will not allow us to cross over today oh god let your judgment be begin to locate them judgment of god begin to fall and locate them locate them destroy their works in the mighty name of jesus discomfit their works in the mighty name of jesus now in verse 4 we can see that god is saying after all the evil they have done they will now try to make a turn and cry to god but god is saying that he will not hear them he will hide his face from them because of their actions how often do you see sometimes some people are like oh you know i pray god is not answering me but they already know what they're doing i've 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 seen a lot of people who have participated in things that are not supposed to participate in and they're constantly actively involved in it that's where their heart is but in front of other people they act like they're actually for god they act like they're actually with god but deep down in their hearts their hearts are committed to other idols to sorcery to witchcraft to incantation to divinations that's what they know that's what they want to do they want to be obedient to those things and not to god right but god is saying here that after you've done all this evil you come now and say oh god and you know this that that that's why my people where from where i'm from they pray this prayer there's this prayer that i hear them saying that lord any person that is into witchcraft and sorcery that wants to destroy me before they come to you and repent father lord destroy their plot completely let them not succeed over my life in the mighty name of jesus and i think that's a very powerful prayer because there are wickedness powers and wickedness in this life they are so determined to destroy God's people, to destroy you, destroy your life, destroy your destiny. And in that determination to destroy, they will say, okay, before I repent, before I become, become committed to God, let me deal with this one. Let me destroy this one's life. Let me make sure my assignment, their heart is so wicked and heavy, very wicked and brutal. They will say, let me make sure that this one is done. And when I'm done with this, then I will turn, turn to God and repent. Today, we're going to pray whosoever has made a decree made a declaration made an, a covenant and said they will not let me go until they see my destruction my lord and my god as this is written in your word that when they set a trap for me they fell in that trap whosoever has set a trap for me has made a declaration for me that is not of good let them begin to fall into that trap return the wickedness of the wicked upon the head of the wicked as it is written in your word somebody begin to pray every wickedness of the wicked on a assignment against me call the names of your loved ones your name your business your marriage whatsoever every plot of the enemies every wickedness of the wicked on assignment against me oh god lord as it is written in your word let it return back upon the heads of the wicked in the name of jesus every trap that has been set for me and my household lord as it is written in your word let those that have set the trap for me let them begin to fall into that trap let those that have dug the pit for me let them begin to fall into that pit in the mighty name of Jesus now concerning the prophets in the past we have spoken about false prophets and teachers in the body of Christ God is saying in verse 5 that the prophet who made God's people to err to make mistakes that bite their teeth and cry peace 
the evil prepare war what this is saying is that the prophets are not doing what they're supposed to do they are making God's people sin look around you the amount of false doctrine spoken by prophets quote unquote and remember when we're talking about false prophets we're not talking about those that don't fall under under that category there are people who fall under, under the category of false prophets mind you there are prophets who are genuine for god now the focus now is on those that are not following god those that are counterfeit we call them counterfeit fake not the ones that are genuinely doing the work of god okay we're talking god now is focusing on those that are not genuine that are using the name of god to make the people of god err err to make error for instance you think you're in a particular place or church or whatever and the so-called false prophets are saying oh bring in false doctrines and say oh do this when you do this then you will see manifestation it's all about manifestation and due to the ignorance of god's people you're falling under that trap hallelujah so now with all these they are making god's people sin look around and see the false doctrine spoken by prophets all over giving people wrong information and luring them to participate in idol worshiping and people participate in these activities out of ignorance they even prepare war the bible says which means they fight god's children to prepare war is to make people a nation or a person to not be at peace in the name of jesus we're going to pray right now whosoever is preparing war whosoever is hiding preparing war for me preparing war for me and my household or that has fought me in this 2021 and is trying to take it over into 2022 father lord god almighty let their arrows let their swords let their spear let it begin to return back upon them in the name of jesus now this generation war can be waged let's explain generation this war in this our time war can be waged against someone spiritually by speaking seeking sources of evil evil powers to destroy and disrupt the person's life it could be done by speaking negatively into the person's life through spells enchantments divination etc or by gossiping or speaking ill of a person with the intention to cause men to not favor that person or to hate on that person there are so many ways war can be said against an individual right now let's just pray and say my father my father any power spirit or personality would you war against me through their tongue silence them by your fire in the name of Jesus silence them by your fire in the name of Jesus my Lord and my God any power spirit or personality waging war against my life against my children against my spouse whatever it is that you are praying regarding your loved ones oh heavenly father whosoever they may be oh God father silence them by your fire let your fire begin to silence them silence them now in the name of Jesus silence them in the mighty name of Jesus silence them we pray tonight in the name of Jesus begin to silence them oh god begin to silence them in the name of jesus hallelujah we're also gonna say oh lord whosoever has conspired to cause me unrest in 2022 let their conspiracy begin to backfire every conspiracy on assignment against me it could be at your workplace you could just be innocent at your work and there are people who are so determined to destroy you to make you lose your job to make you look bad before maybe i don't know your your administrators before your co-worker because of something that is inside of you either you're a very good worker or they're just jealous of you or there's just something about you that they just don't like they just can't stand your presence not that you're doing anything to them they are just so determined to bring you down. You're going to pray, oh Lord, whosoever is determined to cause, you know, trouble, trauma to me in 2022. Father, let their works be null and void. We render their works null and void. Whosoever has conspired against me in 2021, that is trying to take it into 2022. Heavenly Father, let their conspiracy begin to backfire let it begin to backfire in the name of jesus let it begin to backfire by fire let it begin to backfire by thunder in the name of jesus any false prophets this is a very powerful one because as christians you go to church 
and peradventure the the wolves in sheep clothing that you don't know we don't all know you know there might be a wolf in sheep clothing disguised as a servant of God they pray for you they touch your head they touch your head they touch your glory they take your glory take your star or take your blessing or touch something that belongs to you these are things this is the reality of life life is spiritual right so any false prophet that has touched my life in the past from the day I was born till now Lord Lord God Almighty the God of Elijah the God that answers by fire have mercy on me wash me clean of all their evil deeds purge me oh God of every evil deed that they may have implanted in my life whatsoever they have taken from me oh God without my knowledge even though I was aware but I was ignorant of it father restore it back unto me restore back unto me restore back unto me restore back unto me in the name of Jesus and we're going to decree and declare we're going to say my 2022 will not have any evil seeds in the name of Jesus let the east wind of the Lord begin to blow off every evil seed fired at my 2022 in the mighty name of Jesus east wind of the Lord begin to blow away every evil seed fired at my 2022 in the mighty name of Jesus evil seeds and deposits from 2021 are on assignment against my 2022 catch fire in the name of Jesus catch fire in the name of Jesus catch fire in the name of Jesus and we're gonna pray this prayer we're going to ask we're going to command 2022 to begin to give way for you 2022 begin to give way begin to give way let the angels responsible for 2022 begin to fight for me pray is a very powerful prayer angels that are assigned to 2022 begin to fight for me begin to clear the path for me in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hey rabba shoot rabba let the light of god be upon my feet let it begin to guide my path in 2022 2022 hear hear the word of the lord let everything is concerned Concerning me, begin to respond to me. Let it begin to respond to me positively in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of negativity on assignment against my life, on assignment against my next level, on assignment against the work of my hands, on assignment against my fruits, my harvest. In the name of Jesus, I command you to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Spirit of negativity, you will not follow me into 2022. Come on, somebody pray that prayer. You would not follow me into 2022 in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I decree and declare that I shall possess my possession in 2022. I shall make it in 2022. The favor of God is upon my life in 2022. 2022, begin to give way to me. Begin to align, 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 align for me in the name of Jesus. Stand in alignment for me in the name of Jesus. 2022, 2022 is my year. Is my year of favor. Is my year of victory. Is my year of next level. I shall make it in the name name of Jesus hallelujah while we're continuing glory be to God Micah 3 now we're on verse 6 the declaration of God against such people the prophets God is saying that night shall be unto them which means he will make their lives and way dark he will blind them so they don't have visions. Yesterday we spoke about how there's an order in the realm of the spirit. When you occupy a position physically as a priest or as a prophet or whatever, there's a spiritual law and order. Now, what God is saying here is, The sun will go down over the prophets. When the sun goes down on you, what happens? Your 24-7 becomes dark. Hmm. 
this is a mystery hallelujah hallelujah and he's also saying that it's it's god god is basically saying that the sun is going to go down on them so this is heavy and serious declaration from god god is angry with their works basically that he will shut them out he would completely shut them out remember we said that god has given nehemiah spiritual authority yesterday to fix what was happening in his house same rule applies with any prophet or individual who has been privileged to operate in the realm of the spirit using spiritual gifts because they have access to see things they can do things to change what good they see coming so because they are false prophets because they divinate and incantate when they see certain things happening good about to come they can actually take it and turn it there if you read the bible very carefully you see how god really calls out and speaks to these particular group of individuals God is saying, after blocking their way, the seers will be ashamed and the diviners confounded to the point that they will not speak anymore because God will not answer them. Now we're going to pray these last prayers. We're going to say, as it is written, oh God, as it is written, in your word cause blindness to any evil power spirit or personality on assignment to monitor my life in 2022 in the mighty name of jesus my father my father as it is written as it is written oh god cause blindness to any evil power spirit or personality on assignment to monitor our life our businesses our careers my children my spouse or whatsoever it is that you call, call it and say lord cause blindness to any power spirit or personality that wants to monitor your assignment in our life in the name of jesus as it is written heavenly father cause the sun to go down on the wicked let the sun begin to go down on the wicked on assignment against God's people on assignment against your church on assignment against our spiritual lives in the mighty name of Jesus as it is written let the day be dark over every evil personalities this means that they will not be able to see you they will not be able to see your glory they will not be able to see what God is doing they will be blinded they won't have access to your life in the realm of the spirit when they have access to your life in the realm of the spirit they can easily divinate and incantate it will stop your breakthrough from happening say lord blind them in the name of jesus let that day become dark in the name of jesus and any person sitting as lord over my life this year 2021 i dethrone you you shall not follow me into 2022. I dethrone you. I dethrone you. I dethrone you in the name of Jesus. Whosoever territorial spirits, territorial personalities, territorial demons sitting as Lord over the lives of God's children, over the lives, oh God, of his of, 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 of the household of God. Today, oh God, we dethrone them, we dethrone them, we dethrone them in the name of Jesus. Wherever they are rooted deeper, we unseat them and we uproot them by fire in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're going to say, we command the firmament of the universe to begin to fight against anything that will be on assignment to stop the manifestation of God's goodness in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is worthy to be praised. We just want to thank the Lord for another day. We bless his holy name. And as we continue to pray, tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. Um, on Saturday, which is Christmas Day, we're not going to come on live on, on Saturday um, and possibly Sunday. Um, and you, I want you guys to enjoy your Christmas holidays and I know everybody's going to be busy spending time with family. So, um, basically on Monday, on Monday will be live. But for those of you who are interested in joining the prayer line on Friday, we do prayers 
on Friday nights. Um, you can send a personal message um, on the page and the link will Friday nights okay we do prayers on Friday nights at 12 a.m. okay 12 a.m. into Saturday so um, I will post the link and then we can pray if you have the time you can join in if not then have a blessed weekend Merry Christmas to all of you remember this is the season that we're celebrating the birth the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ if he wasn't born we will not be saved but thank God for bringing Jesus Christ as a gift to us so that he can you know he can bear that cross for us so we're celebrating the fact that he came into manifestation in the physical through man through flesh hallelujah glory be to god so jesus is the reason for this season it's not just a holiday we are celebrating christ we're celebrating the birth of the savior of the master the jehovah jireh jehovah nisi jehovah jeboah jehovah the man of war yes hallelujah Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So take care, everyone. God bless you. Have a good day. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you're watching from, God bless you. I will see you next week, Monday. Take care. Bye. God bless you. Love you.